Hi, and welcome to this edition of Video Best Practices series from Interactive Media Strategies. I'm your host, Paul Ritter. Today's webcast is focused on video SEO best practices, and I'm pleased to be joined by Shannon Murphy, Content Marketing Manager with 3Play Media. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm great. Good to talk with you again. And before we get started on some of the topics of video SEO and best practices that we're covering today, can you tell us a little bit about 3Play Media and the types of products and services that the company offers? Certainly. Uh, 3Play Media is a closed captioning and transcription service for online video. Uh, we also offer subtitles. Essentially, our mission is to make video as accessible, searchable, and SEO friendly as possible. Uh, and we integrate with all of the major video platforms, including YouTube, Uyala, Brightcove, uh, Vimeo, Wistia, and, and many, many others. In a recent survey by the Web Video Marketing Council in conjunction with Real SEO, more than 600 respondents provided their input on the use of online video for a variety of applications at their organizations. The survey results provide a lot of insights into the many ways that web video is being used and the types of best practices that companies are using to achieve success with their online video initiatives. Here we see an overview of the responses from the survey for the question about strategies and tactics being used for optimizing videos and deploying best practices for achieving results with search engine optimization or SEO strategies. Results from the 600 plus respondents of the survey show that 77% are tagging their online videos with keywords, 51% are posting video content to their organization's blog, and 40% are annotating videos with details about the content, the duration, and other information. However, only 27% of the respondents in the survey are providing video transcripts for the videos on their website. I think this shows that there's really a significant opportunity for companies to take more steps to really help drive better SEO results and provide useful tools for their video viewers by leveraging things such as transcripts and captions. Shannon, can you talk a little bit about why transcripts can be so important and how they really provide a lot of value in terms of SEO benefits? Well, transcripts are important for video SEO essentially because uh, search engines can't watch a video. So the crux of SEO is that it's text-driven. You're creating page titles, headers, links, all around a keyword focus for the hopes that search engines are going to find and rank your page for that keyword. Uh, if you make a video around a subject but you don't have the transcript, then you don't have any of that keyword potency to tell the search engines what's on this page. Uh, you can add a title or a video description, but the transcript really bridges the gap between uh, video and search engines to give you the most potency in terms of video SEO. Shannon, what's the best way to create and to publish transcripts in terms of specific strategies and some of the best practices that companies can follow? Certainly. Uh, well, for longer transcripts, um, for video that's probably five minutes or more, it's really great to paginate out your transcripts. Uh, so providing a link to the plain transcript from that video uh, and then paginating it out based off of the content. Uh, you know that during videos, subject matter will naturally change. So it's great to be able to uh, create pages with titles and headers that focus in on that specific subject matter. So uh, from a user perspective, I don't go and view just a, a plain transcript uh, that's black and white and kind of boring. I, uh, as a user, I can skim headings and kind of dive into the content I need. Um, also, it's important within, so you would paginate, you would want to build out your uh, titles and headers to be keyword relevant uh, to the content on that page. But also it's important to, throughout that transcript, consider placing links. So relevant anchor text to other content that you have on your site, linking to those resources. That way you're not marooning the transcript in terms of uh, the transcript within your site structure, right? It's, it's right. connected, well connected to your whole site. Um, and you don't necessarily have to have a lot of inbound links to it. Um, I think the video would be the main focus, but making sure that if somebody were to read the transcript and perhaps they come across 
a term or a resource within that, that it's it's linked to the appropriate resource. Um, it's just a lot better for the user experience, which is what Google and other search engines are really focused on when it comes to SEO. Those are really some great tips and best practices that I think a lot of people will find both interesting and really practical for their own video initiatives. Thanks a lot, Shannon, for sharing some of your thoughts and insights on video SEO best practices and ways that companies can really leverage the use of video transcripts and captions. It's been great chatting with you, and I look forward to our next opportunity to explore more subjects related to video SEO strategies in the future. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. And thanks to all of you for watching today's webcast that's part of the Video Best Practices series from Interactive Media Strategies. I'm Paul Ritter, and we'll see you next time.